So, Will Mount Gox distributions crashed the Bitcoin price further? It's a good question. In July 2022, the Mount Gox trustee posted an update that the trustee is preparing to make repayment in accordance with the approved rehabilitation plan. The trustee currently holds approximately 140,000 Bitcoin, Bitcoin cash and US $500,000. Creditors who previously filed claims can elect to receive 90% of what they are owed by an early lump sum repayment, which could be somewhere between 15% and 25% of what they actually held on the exchange. So basically, they're willing to buy your shares out or rebuy out your debt for 15 or 25 percent so basically 15 to 25 cents on the dollar been there that sucks been there in the stock market that sucks by a way of um delisting happened to me with latham airlines about five years ago they gave me 25 cents on the dollar and also choose what's asset would like to be paid back in bitcoin and or bitcoin cash or in cash no data set for repayments to start, though the document did state that the setting of assignment, etc., restriction reference period may start from the end of August in 2022. This period would prevent the assignment or transfer of claims for safe and secure repayments. This August date could indicate that repayments could start in September, but technically the two dates are unrelated. This update from the trustee manifests the question if these repayments will trigger another digital currency market sell-off as victims of the Mt. Gox insolvency. And if you guys are watching this, pay close attention to this. There's no way around this if you're in the crypto market. Mt. Gox, Gox insolvency have been waiting eight years to get some portion of their money back. Other news sites are speculating that the repayments will or will not base on subjective bias of those media outlets. Of course, no one can predict what every single creditor what the hell is this? Every single creditor will do, but likely some will be looking to get as much cash as possible, leading to some potential downward pressure on the price. Notably, the trustee is only distributing Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Cash. Not any of the other forks, BSV, Bitcoin Gold, etc. These other forks will be liquidated for more cash for the trustee to distribute. So if you own any of those, you're 100% liquidated. You're not even getting 15 to 25 cents on the dollar. That sucks even worse. I spot checked the top 15 addresses or so on Mt. Gox cold wallet monitor, and it appears the BSV has not yet been sold. Regardless, it appears all Bitcoin variants will see further price reductions as we move forward in 2022 in an increasingly inflationary environment. Buy your gold, under $1,700 an ounce. Buy your silver, sub 19 cents, or I wish 19 cents, sub $19. And also your gold to silver ratio is above 90 to one. You know, you only get so many times in history when we have this kind of a ratio. Don't get left holding a bag of cash that ain't worth dick. I acknowledge that the U.S. dollar currency index, the DXY, is over 106 spot or 107 right now. Once it capitulates to 120, that's the end of the dollar. And anybody who holds dollar, whether they're a businessman, whether they think they're smart in finances or not, I'm not the guy who's going to say I told you so, but I am going to be the guy who's in a lot better position than most because I understand the financial markets. There's a lot of people right now that have never seen an ounce of gold, that have never even seen a piece of gold or silver, any kind of precious metal. Everybody has their money in cash or sitting in the bank, which is a complete disaster. I probably have, well, because I'm buying my house, I have a lot more than I normally would in the bank, but I typically don't have any more of 25% of my net worth in cash. The rest is in precious metals and as a safe store of value. That's it. Then I have about 5K, 7,510K. It just depends how the markets are running in crypto and my stock and commodities and all that. So this is crazy though. Listen to this part of this. So as more and more funds and companies lay off employees, cut programs and report bankruptcies, the digital currency space appears less enticing for holding or speculation. Assuming half of the creditors hold and half sell, then that would still imply 70,000 Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash being sold on the market. Related, one of the biggest misconceptions about the controversial exchange is that it was hacked for 80,000 Bitcoins back in 2011. Given the paltry 15 to 25% repayment rate, creditors can receive 80,000 unsplit Bitcoins would be an increase of around 50% to the total funds held, which would be a huge boon and could increase the repayment rate closer towards 30%.
Why is it the trustee vehemently seeking recovery of these stolen funds? Um, Howard, when do you think gold and silver will start moving? Q3, Q4 this year? Likely, but you got to remember we're dealing with Basel 3 and the Basel 4 implementation. If you don't know what that is, we can cover this at a future date or just go watch me on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to be doing an update on the ISO channel again now that we're getting into the end of the year. I told you I was taking a couple month break because it was irrelevant and I didn't want to have a third partnered station. It's that simple and we're approaching 900 subscribers so we're like 100 away and I just couldn't do three partnered stations. Not at that time. Likely because the trustee has no legal claims to those funds in the first place which dispels the unsubstantial. Hey, EF Reed, thanks for the 10 bits. I really appreciate that. Which dispels the unsubstantiated claim of a hack from convicted criminal Mark Carpellis. As repayments finally occur, truth and closure will finally manifest from the, this dark moment in Bitcoin's history. Unfortunately, the digital currency space and economic environment are a lot different in 2022 than they were in 2014. If we can learn anything from the Bitcoin's history, it will be that no one can predict for sure what will happen. So that was definitely worth the read. Um, now we need to get into the charts again because I believe we're going to have a little bit of a pump here and once we confirm this on the 20 day if we can just come down here on XRP 3629 I'm looking for 3629 although I think it came down and we missed it during the class we did it came all the way down while I was talking and rubbling on to 3645 quickly bounced back up here in the last about 10-15 minutes so, but I can see this going up one more layer for XRP. I can. It looks like it needs to come up. At least this part's a bullish Gartley. You know, and then you can do this, maybe an end here. I would totally expect a rejection there. Assuming we don't go parabolic here and get up to the top of this formation, somewhere up here, here, or here. X does seem to mark the spot, and that's 38.91. We've got the Bitcoin. The biggest thing for Bitcoin is that we're on this W. Gartley reversal in the 30 minute. This doesn't seem to be the last of the impulse move here. If we look at a few things like the, we'll go to the EMA ribbons here real quick. And these are the estimated moving averages and where the buyers are set up above or below. If you're on the top side, you're bullish. Bottom side, you're very bearish. What are we seeing right now? All of it's, it's, constricting to the middle this is a very bullish push up it looks like it's going to be and not for anything substantial but i would not be surprised to see bitcoin up at 23.5 23.6 or possibly push it again like i keep saying i sound like a broken record and you guys probably don't punch me in the face but 25k i don't like it any more than you do but like i keep saying there's no reason we don't make money you know i'm not going long like in a Swing trading position, but I am leverage trading. We've hit 14 straight trades. So, you know, you might want to think and consider very carefully to join me over on BitGet and at least copy trade me. I tell people to do 50 bucks because we had a lot of trial and error and we were like minus 10 on the trades, which was like minus 300 and something dollars in the beginning. I'm not afraid to say that. I don't care. But now, you know, we've had an incredible recovery and we're actually only down about, I think we're even now. Is what it shows. Uh, data, down 95 cents. But we've made 104 successful trades and only 64 negative trades. So, you know, it's something spectacular. And if you want to join me over on BitGet, now would be the time. Um, it's just we're building something there. And it's not, a, it's not a lending platform. It's a trading platform. So that's why I highly encourage everybody to join me on BitGet. You know, I'm partnered by them. And we had a trading competition, as you guys know, paid out $2,000. Unfortunately, or fortunately for everybody, I won the trading competition for first place of 800 Gives me a little bit of bragging rights in the community, but everybody's watching me for a reason, because I have an understanding of the market. So we're in this little bear flag. So Electro Nick, so do you think we get out of this? And break up one more level and use this bullish Gartley and break up. Because this isn't done yet on a bullish Gartley. It's just not. I'll, I'll fight it to the death if this does play as a Gartley. That this would probably end up for Bitcoin at a minimum of 23788 Can you confirm or deny that? I, 
already am famous. What do you mean? Zombie, I'm already famous. Are you blind? Zombie. Already famous. The blaze, already famous. You missed. You missed the boat? Missed the boat? You would have had to do that a while ago. You should go ask me that on YouTube with my 12,000 followers. I like real fame, not fake fame. I like real people, not fake people. Go ask the run, guys. All right, so I want to know what everybody thinks, though, in the comments. I'm going to give you about a minute. You got one minute to comment, and then I'm going on. So if you have any questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. This is just the way I do it. And then I will absolutely love to answer any questions, but then I got to move on. Because we got a lot to cover. A lot to cover. In a very, very short amount of time, unfortunately. And then if you want to join me on BitGet, click this link in the vi in the uh, comments. And it'll bring you to BitGet. Lots of perks, yada, yada, yada. Join me on the copy trading if you want to do that, search copy trading on BitGet right now, XRP Future Millionaire. I have it valid. I have it open for everybody right now, I believe. Uh, as long as I have that. Yes, I do. So if you want to join me, join me on BitGet. I think 25K is on the table, though, ladies and gentlemen. So I was looking at XRP. It looks bearish also. Look, Joe Nick, you think it's bearish? I disagree. I think XRP in the immediate short... Well, yeah, it's bearish as a whole. But I think in the immediate short term, it could be bullish. We got to acknowledge a bullish Gartley here. Or at least acknowledge it on this part of it. Now, this would mean a continuation up and probably get rejected here. If I had to guess, XRP is going for a rejection around 37.75. That's what I'm guessing on. Now... Where do you buy into XRP is the question if you wanted to ride it to 37.75. My gut tells me you got to wait for it to come back to the MA lines and ride them. Ride them. Oh, it is? Doesn't she have to take a shower now? Oh, she hasn't showered yet. No, I just Oh, Julie, here. No. Yeah. You know, I, I don't trust Uphold, so I took, well, I don't, I trust Uphold, but I don't trust Crypto right now, so I took another 400 out. Still got like three grand, but I'd rather have three instead of five. Yeah, throw in the wallet. In the wallet? There's 360 there still? Mm -hmm. Even after I went to this, oh, okay. This is my allowance. Well, then he takes some. How much do you need? 85? Take a take a hundred out of there real quick. Put that. That's the for your stuff. What do you mean you make more money than me? Well, not technically. Ah, I see. Now you can just take mine. Look at XLM there, though, with that. Ma so, guys, what this tells me is with XLM, it's coming back up here at least once. This is just an overzealous push-up, and it's going to come back up there. It's, they usually do. Even if it's a slow, steady push-up, and that would absolutely correlate somewhere in here. x also is a better side for 372 with favors. Yep, I love that area right there at C-Dub. And welcome, good evening. Padilla, welcome in. Wow, 37 people here now. I didn't even realize it was filling out like that. Um, but yeah, Howard, gold and silver, I think. You know, anywhere, anywhere this Q3, Q4. But you also got to remember it's manipulated and you got to take advantage of these times. Got to make take advantage of them. And, uh, zombie. I do want to be famous, but the problem is, is you're going to have to give me a handy on live stream. We're going to do it on OnlyFans. You can bring Blaze along and we'll be a, to do a three-peat together. So you're going to have to bring uh, a change of clothes and something to wash the shit off your face. So 
Electronics, so I was looking at XRP. Whoops. I was looking at XRP. I was looking at XRP. It looks bearish also. Move up to 25K. Upside down, head and shoulders to liquidate. Yep. Yep. Padilla at 100%. Fair cipher up to 372 would favor resistance. I see similar CW. I'm trying to make a few more bucks trading than take all profit and buy gold and silver. That's why I'm asking. Oh, excellent, excellent. You should have uh you should have more time here. You're still gonna have more time, but yeah. I think this is a move to liquidate the shorts because I think the shorts are about to make a shitload of money. They are. But like I said, I I do Real, real methodical trades. And now that I really have gotten the grasp of um, BitGet, I don't struggle with it anymore. I don't bitch about it. If I lose money and it screws me over, so be it. But I let it emotionally evolve me about a month ago. I don't do that anymore. And like I said, we've got a good grasp on it. I don't. I trade when I feel necessary, but we've hit the last 14. So I highly encourage you guys to join me on copy trading. And I have it open for everybody. I haven't had it open for about a month. I put the money in there. I have to have 500 in there minimum in the copy trading, which I have like 1,000 now just so everybody can join. I've been building it up on 14 straight trades, so the money keeps building up. So join me. Don't be shy. Even if we lose money, just throw 50 bucks in there. That's all I ask. Links in the description below. In the comments below, actually. So that's what I'm seeing. I really am. I'm really seeing this. I push up the... Maybe, maybe 38 cents, but I really see that 37, right here it would be about 37.62 in the 30 minute. I actually could see this as well. You have an engulfing candle here, which is pretty bullish, unless we decide to pull down. We're above the EMA lines, and to me, we just need to separate. So what I would like to see here is the 200 in blue where it's at, the 100 in light blue, the 50 day and the 20 day stacked in order. So I want to see something like this, you know, in order, not the way it's all crowded up here because that test tells me we have an impulse up to about here, which makes perfect sense. Suck people in with the last two and a half percent. Oh my God, XRP won't stop. And then before they know it, you break their necks. And then they're holding XRP saying, son of a bitch. Why'd I buy it there? Oh, because I have no idea what I'm doing. But I do. So stay tuned. Follow. Enjoy. You know, uh, gain an understanding of the market for free. I'm not the most popular because I spit the truth. But I'd rather be second fiddle than the main attraction with no real intel, if that makes any sense. I'd rather not be bought and paid for, but be able to be real and tell you guys what's going on. This is what I feel. Somewhere in here and possibly in here. Like you're going to come up here. We've had this mild cup and handle that could just finish it off and then end our dreams maybe. So I am really feeling that for some reason. I feel a push up. I think the market's trying to tell us. Um, I wish XRP wasn't at 36.83 and I, when I came on it was lower. But, you know, I have my mortgage I'm dealing with, which is such a pain in the ass. That I can't wait till it's over and it's been taking a lot of my time. And I'm buying my house, but it's such a pain in the ass. Can't wait for it to be done. DGB. Again, we need to prove support one more time. I think if we get this support on the EMA ribbons, we're going to come up. And DGB would come up to about there. I'm telling you, we just need one more proper touch. I don't know if that satisfied it. I don't know if that quite satisfied it. I think it'd be better off if it looked like that, in my personal opinion. So if you're watching DGB, there's your bear. My, it's like the most secretive one of them all. Like this is the one that I put a lot of stock in because nobody talks about. That's not the only reason, but I love me some DGB. I love DGB. So I mean, that's kind of what we're in right now. Not kind of, that's what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, descending resistance and uptrending support. Tom, which EMA ribbon do you use? Okay. So when I do use it, I use the EMA ribbon K and it's the NKBLU. 
And I like it just because of the way it's set up, and I don't modify it. I use every EMA ribbon so that I can get an idea. Some people only use the top four. I say, why? We can get a better understanding from the immediate short-term bearish to where it's actually starting to make an uptrend. But it doesn't look like it's done. I can't help that. This cup and handle, now that it's done this with DGB, looks like it really wants to come here. Maybe get a hold here or a rejection, and then it can fill it and come like this. That's what could possibly happen. It really could. Ethereum's up to 1592. 1592. Ethereum's on a heck of a tear. Heck of a tear. We know the pattern of XL1, or uh, oh, that's the USDT one. We know the pattern of uh, Ethereum. We're going parabolic here after we broke this uptrend. Remember what we talked about? You stay on this uptrend. And look, we're barely staying on it, but we are. You can be very, very, very bullish. But the moment you break that, you're finally... You had a little retest here, breakout, but you could come back and retest all this when you break. But as of right now, I'm going to take these EMA ribbons off because it gets con confusing and I don't like to use the indicators. It's But bounce on the 20-day, bounce on the 15, 16, 26 support, and now we're on our way. Are we going to retest the uptrend now that we're back in it? Maybe. You could retest 1558 or 1577, but you got to love these bear market rallies. And look at, look at again, though, Ethereum Classic is just unbelievably pushing. These partnerships are no joke. Man, I would love to know if these are all going to do what Ethereum is doing. God, an XRP, of course it would, they would fall to the outside. So now it almost looks like it wants to retest the bottom side of this. If we break through here, we still can come up here to 40 cents, 42 and a half cents. When does this mount knock? They said by the end of next month, Sometime next month, it all they're going to be paying back 142,000 Bitcoin, which comes out to about 3.3 billion. Welcome in, Mr. Honcho. It absolutely can go to 2,800. I don't know about right now, because you got to remember on the 26th we're in some trouble. I don't know 2,800, but what I will say is I think if we can make it out of this level. You know, then you'd have to start looking at that 1823. But we've got to look very closely what happens here in the next couple hours because, yes, I think we can go up another level. Do I think it's going to immediately happen? It probably will. You might get another re. That's the thing, though. We're going to get a retest first. We're going to watch out for some of these areas. The five doesn't suggest it, that it's happening now. The three minute, the three minute is kind of starting. Uh, nah, not yet. The one minute? Okay. So we could be starting to pull this down real quick so that we can come down and retest these levels and it would eventually in the 30 minute time frame get you down closer to 33, 36.3. About a half a cent. We're looking for about a half a cent retracement. Julie, is that you? You okay? Michaela's still letting her hair dry. Or I mean, uh, letting that stuff dry in her hair. The uh, dye? Okay. You're not. I'm going to go make sure my son's doing okay, so I want everybody to pay attention to this, but, you know, sometimes, and I know not everybody on here, whoops, watch this. So I want you guys to watch this. It's a, instead of watching a two-minute ad while I go check on everybody, I'm going to educate you real quick. Everybody always asks me about altcoins. Do you know what they actually are? You're going to find out right now. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Or cash me outside. What was I supposed to bring to check the Google Dog? Gosh. All coins.
coins are cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin. All coins' name comes from a combination of the two words alternative and coin. All coins include mining based cryptocurrencies, stable coins, security tokens, and utility tokens, to name a few. Like Bitcoin, all coins share code and function like a giant computer capable of processing large amounts of data and transactions at the same time. And while Bitcoin is the pioneer behind decentralized currencies, its implementation has several shortcomings. For example, the consensus mechanism used to create blocks known as proof of work or POW is energy intensive and time consuming. All coins improve upon Bitcoin's perceived limitation by using a consensus method called proof of stake or POS. POS minimizes energy consumption and the time required to create blocks and validate new transactions. All coins also provide new or additional capabilities like smart contracts. These are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement directly written into lines of code. By differentiating themselves from Bitcoin in this manner, all coins have created a market for themselves, attracting investors who see their potential. All coin price movements sometimes mimic Bitcoin's trading signals, but as the cryptocurrency investing ecosystems continue to mature, this may all change, meaning there's potential for all coin prices to move independently of Bitcoin. All coins represent the potential for cryptocurrencies to reshape modern finance, and there are good alternatives for cryptocurrency market investors interested in diversifying their portfolios. Of course, course, investors should should do their their research before before investing. The The risks associated with altcoins are similar, or in in some cases, cases, greater than than those for Bitcoin Bitcoin investing. Okay, thank you guys. I had to go check on my son. I thought maybe that would be a little bit better than just having a screen in front of you, but I don't know. Some of you guys might have got bored. It sure will be banned, Mike. I'm glad it relaxes you. I really am. What are all coins? Every other coins besides Bitcoin. That is right. Correct. But surprisingly, you guys wouldn't believe how many people ask me, what is an altcoin? But yet they own altcoins. It's interesting to me that you would buy something that you don't understand. Although, you know... Not so interesting because isn't that kind of like buying stocks and all this other crap? Do we really understand? But man, do I wish that this would uh, come down just a tiny bit because I don't want to re-engage right now into a position. Because like I said, I already made four tra- or three trades today. No, four, I think. And they were all winners. One was only four and a half, but the rest were 14% or more. But I don't really want to engage right now because... I feel like there could be a small retrace first, but, you know, that now we're just splitting hairs because it definitely looks like it's got to go up one more layer. For Bitcoin, in the immediate short term, we're sitting at 23328 But if I'm looking at this logically, Bitcoin looks like it wants to pull up and finish a move up to about 23367 which that's this immediate move, right? And you can see it broke over the immediate move. So, if it does get through here, then you got to start talking. Okay, well, then our next level is going to be about 23.5. But then we really have to start talking about 23.8 and then ultimately about 25K. If we look at this logically and say, okay, this is going to play true. And you can see where it bounced right here. We'll just say, oh, that's the level. So, initially, we're coming up to about 23,699 is what I'm playing for what I'm looking at. Um, I was just personally hoping that this could retrace down just ever so slightly because we're kind of bouncing around here and I was just hoping, begging, that it's not ready yet. Because to me, it seems like it still needs to fill it out a little bit. Just, you know. So, that's what we're looking at, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the bottom side of this rising channel now. It's not impossible for it to come back in it. Believe it. You were right, Eddie. Was I really? It was just a way stay here. I can grab that. Are you sure? Oh, you are?
Um, so any questions? Any questions? Or what are your guys' and Gail's thoughts? While we're, because we're getting towards, uh, you know, closer to the end. Dumping. I could totally see a dump first. I would like to see a dump first to come back down here. I just think this needs to have a little more of an impulse. I think it needs to dump down, though, to here at least. So you're going to get a little bit of a dump, hopefully. About 1.22% is what I'm hoping for. Check the one minute Bitcoin. Ooh. This could be where it finally came through. I'm trying to say it's going to hit from somewhere around here, so. <coughs> this very well could be about to fall through here. This could be a short opportunity. <coughs> <clears throat> you know, in the immediate short term. So, is anybody long or short right now leverage trading? If you're trading. Just out of curiosity. God, why does it feel like it just wants to come down though first? Like it feels like it wants to just pull down the one minute, the three minute. Just seems like it wants to come down first and at least reestablish this area. It's tricky. Just a retrace, I think, could hit 23,440, then drop. Excellent, C dubs. Excellent. That's that's along my line of thinking as well. Tanya almost opened a can of Guinness there. Very nice. Very nice. Hi, Debuggers. You want the snacky? Come here. Ooh, you want these? Whoops. Hey, Daddy's coming. Be right back, everybody. Here comes Jackie, yes I am. Hey buddy. Come on. Oh, did you do that day? Oh, did you do that day? You're the fuck crazy sweet one. Oh, did you do that day? Yay! Hey, Good boy. Sorry, guys, but my son walked over to me and I cannot resist. Long and short on my medical cannabis dash, right? All right. Access, that's right. Check Ichimoku Cloud on the 30. Ooh, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. Ooh. It's definitely calling for this a nice retest down here, isn't it? It's calling for a drop into here. It's, it's probably trying to call for a retest of the 200 day in the immediate small time frames. So is anybody long or short right now in a position? I'm just curious. Are you long or short? Oh yeah, Bit.